this video I'm going to add some tags which will improve the organization and the layout of my web page. Um, you'll see from the previous videos I've just gone to Wikipedia and just copied and pasted some of the text there just to look um, a bit more like a professional website, not much but a bit better. Uh, the first tag I'm going to use is to create a horizontal line across the page. I'm going to do that directly underneath my heading and that's just HR, so it stands for horizontal rule. There's no slash HR, so it's just save, refresh, and you can see nice horizontal rule, nice line across the web page. The next tags I'm going to use are center, just to put something in the middle of a web page. Be careful with the spelling of center, you need to use the American spelling, which is ER, rather than the British spelling, which is RE. And make sure you have a slash and you can see that it will align it into the center of the page. I'm going to do the same for my picture as well, just because I like to have the images also in the center of the page. And there we go. Okay, so horizontal rule and center, first of all, nice and easy. Now I'm going to add bullet points. Before I add my bullet points, I'm just gonna have a new paragraph and say my favorite breeds of dog are and close the paragraph. So I'm going to put my bullet points underneath here. So with bullet points it starts with UL. UL stands for unordered list. I'm going to add one, two, three, four, four bullet points. So I'm going to close my UL a few lines down. For each bullet point, we need LI, which is list item. So for each list item, so I'm going to start with the best type of dog, which is a Shiba Inu, and I need slash LI. So you see that each list item is on its own line. Now I'm going to put a poodle. Why not? They look fluffy. Um, next line, I'm going to put an Alsatian. I'll say, I'll, I hope that's correctly spelled. Don't forget to put the slash li in at the end of each line. And lastly, I'm going to put a chihuahua slash li. Okay, save it, refresh. There we go. I've got my four bullet points of my four types of dogs. Um, if you don't want them as bullet points, you can have them ordered instead. So one, two, three, and four. So instead of unordered list, change it to O to make an ordered list. You don't need to change the list items at all. Save, refresh, and now they are in order. Okay. One more tag I'm going to add is a block quote. And a block quote will just move text away from the side of a page, so it will indent it slightly it's used in some articles and websites uh, for when somebody is giving a quote. I'm actually going to put it here. If I click here for the Wikipedia page, I'm going to get rid of my paragraph tag that I have earlier. I'm going to write block quote, all one word. And then at the end of that line, instead of a slash P, I'm going to have my slash block quote instead. Save it, refresh, and you can see that it's just stands out a bit, it's just moved it away from the page a little bit. Okay, so these were my organization tags, HR for the horizontal rule, center to center align, um, unordered list, my bullet points, which I then turned into my ordered list, and then lastly block quote, just to indent the text a bit.